Someone out there is killing puppets. We're gonna catch the people who did these murders. Anyone got a gun I could borrow? <laughs> That was a clip from the new film, The Happy Time Murders. This is a dark comedy starring Melissa McCarthy. It hits theaters today. Joining me now in the Fox Light host, Michael Tamaro. Great to see you. Hello, my Maria. I missed you, I Michael. Missed you, I'm happy but you're back. Back. All right. So, <laughs> Happy Time Murders, we know how great. Crazy Rich Asians have been yes. has done. What do you think about this one? Happy Time Murder. Oh, and Melissa McCarthy, I love her. She's in like every movie these, lately. Yeah. She needs to start saying no mm -hmm. to some of these things. Right after, right after clowns, puppets are high on my creep meter, <laughs> along with puppeteers, <laughs> they are, they along with me. puppeteers who make a living with their hand up. Some, something's took us. Okay, I just can't. <laughs> the movie has horrible reviews. Oh, uh, someone calling it the worst movie <laughs> of 2018. <laughs> With you about the creep meter. Yeah, and these and they're dirty puppets, and uh, Jim Henson is probably rolling over in his grave at this point. This is his son Brian Henson is uh, oh, part, has brought this movie to the screen. These are adult themes in this yes. movie. Yes. So is that going to drive viewers away? <clears throat> I think that's sort of the, the target audience is young males, and they a lot of adult themed movies. Comedies tend to debut in August um, for some reason, and Sausage Party came out this time last year and did really, really well. But the movie's not good. But you loved Crazy Rich Asians. I loved Crazy Rich So it's going to be hard to knock Crazy Rich Asians Along with the, the rest of the world at this point. Yeah. Um, we're probably bring in about $20 million at the box office, number one again, uh, second weekend in a row. Uh, have dirty puppets on the brain. <laughs> Happy Time Murders will probably come in at number two with around 10 to 12 million dollars. All right, so you're not expecting it to take sort of the shine no, away from not at Crazy all. Rich Asians. Not at all. Speaking of, yeah, what were you going to say? I was going to say Crazy, and it, it, the, the book has been blown back to number one on Amazon along with uh, the the, the, uh, the sequel, which they just announced yesterday, China Rich Girlfriend, is at number two on the Amazon chart. So it's it's really quite the phenomenon. So right now. The, the, after last week's huge opening, Warner yeah. Brothers announced the sequel. And so do you expect that because they announced a sequel, that drives you know viewers into the first one? Absolutely. Look, they, they, Warner Brothers, is, they have a, a hot new franchise on their hands right now. So they're moving quick, as uh -huh. they should. All right, we will check it out. Michael, great to see Good you. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Michael Tamara.